Xenon is an element that has a number of interesting properties as a drug. It has nitrous oxide-like dissociative and anesthetic properties, and it can also function as a neuroprotectant. The drug has rarely been used in non-medical settings, and its high cost has limited its medical use. Xenon is found at a very low concentration in the air, and is used in lights, jet propellant, and other products. The positive effects of xenon can include mood lift, pain relief, muscle relaxation, anxiety reduction, euphoria, and perceptual changes, such as with depth perception. Its negative effects may include dizziness, impaired coronation, headache, and unconsciousness. There are two medical uses that have appeared for the drug. First, it can be used as an anesthetic, and second, it can protect the brain from some types of damage. It is considered one of the most ideal anesthetics. Xenon exhibits little to no effect on cardiovascular measures, is well tolerated, provides significant pain relief, and is associated with a fast recovery from anesthesia. On the neuroprotection side, xenon may be a useful drug since it can quickly enter the brain and has few negative effects. It has primarily been studied for its ability to combat the damage caused by hypoxia, which is a deficiency in oxygen. Hypoxia can lead to cellular dysfunction and eventually cell death. It's been shown to attenuate some of that damage. Some additional research has looked at other uses for xenon, such as in reducing movement issues caused by L-DOPA treatment in Parkinson's. Stepping outside of medical applications, xenon could be used as a performance enhancer and recreational drug. It has already been used by some athletes who've reported training improvements and superior recovery. As a recreational drug, it can provide effects similar to those of nitrous oxide, though it has almost never been used in that way. When inhaled, the effects last last for around 30 minutes and begin in 5 to 15 seconds. Xenon is an element that's largely unreactive and is found at a low concentration in the air. It interacts with multiple receptors and channels to provide its various effects. Perhaps its most important action is as a glycine site NMDA receptor antagonist. This is connected to its anesthetic and neuroprotecting abilities. Neuroprotection is believed to come, at least partly, from the NMDA antagonism. Since higher glycine concentrations can reduce xenon's effectiveness, it is also an antagonist at alpha-4 beta-2 nicotinic acetylcholine receptors. Outside of NMDA antagonism, neuroprotection could be connected to xenon's activation of TREK1 and ATP-sensitive potassium channels. The alleged performance-enhancing effects may come from a xenon-induced rise in erythropoietin, which can boost your red blood cell count. Xenon increases EPO by upregulating hypoxia-inducible factor 1 alpha, and the rise in EPO may last last for over a day. Xenon was discovered by William Ramsey and Morris Travers, two chemists, in 1898. Knowledge of its possible anesthetic and psychoactive properties appeared in 1939 due to tests with other noble gases. Albert Benke, a U.S. Navy physician, found that changing the breathing mixture given to divers could alter their perception. Tests of xenon in humans began in 1941, though the earliest reports from Russia were not published. In 1946, John Lawrence an American physician and physicist, tested its anesthetic properties in mice. In 1951, Stuart Cullen reported on its effects in humans for the first time. Cullen used the drug in an elderly patient and in a younger woman. It was reported the drug provided significant pain relief and led to a good recovery. Between the 1950s and 1990s, little was done with xenon, largely due to its high price. More research has occurred since the 1990s, and it has found some applications in humans humans. It's been used in a relatively limited manner for anesthesia in some regions, and it's been used even less for neuroprotection. The Russian government sponsored the use of xenon in its athletes between the Athens 2004 and Sochi 2014 Olympic Games. WADA officially banned xenon in 2014. There's enough research to back up xenon's useful anesthetic properties that it could be more widely used in that area moving forward. However, its price will likely remain high at 10 to 20 dollars per liter, which comes out to hundreds of dollars per operation. As such, it could be reserved for specific populations like those with cardiovascular issues and pregnant women. Xenon is not controlled in the U.S. or elsewhere.
The long-term safety of xenon isn't known, but low-frequency use is very unlikely to be harmful. It has little effect on the cardiovascular system and is not connected to any especially concerning acute effects at common doses. The primary issues are vomiting and nausea, and if you use too much, unconsciousness can take hold. Unlike other NMDA antagonists, it is not connected to changes which may be indicative of neurotoxicity. It also produces little to no psychotic activity. If you have any questions about Xenon, feel free to leave them in the comment section. Support on Patreon is greatly appreciated, so if you'd like to contribute, you can head to patreon.com slash the drug classroom. You can also contribute through YouTube, PayPal, or Bitcoin using the addresses and links in the description. You can connect with me on Twitter at Seth A. Fitzgerald and via email at seth at the drug More information and links to references can be found on the TDC website using the link below.